Hello everybody, I'm Anna Vanila and here today I want to share with you my knowledge of um, eco-friendly bracelets, hippie bracelets, bracelets that you can do with all kind of knitting yarn, all kind of threads, it doesn't matter exactly, it doesn't matter what kind of yarn or thread you have, you can do these bracelets and more than that, what I like about this is that it's very convenient. You can do literally with no money this kind of bracelets. So basically, you are able to make from remainings of threads like this. If you have remainings of like 10 centimeters of thread, you can do these bracelets. As you can see, this one is thin bracelet. And I've done about two rows. Each one of them is about two rows. This one is just one row, so the yarn, the thread that I've used was shorter. And what you do in the end, it's um, when you do the knots, you literally leave the thread as it is. Then you cut it straight after you finish the bracelet you cut straight to the length that you need and you can come up with the design like this one or like this one as you can see this one is longer so the threads are actually longer so here longer longer threads so <laughs> i just cut it so uh, this one is thicker bracelet but the thread I made is shorter, as you can see in here. And it stays like that. It's very beautiful. It's easy to wash, it's eco-friendly, as you can see. Is stunning bracelet, it's easy to do. Every, every one of you could do it. Uh, it doesn't require much energy to do it doesn't require any pattern so so if you can do knots you can do this bracelet so what i like also about it is that it's eco-friendly so instead of buying new yarn new thread you just do from remainings of your own threads or yarn or for example if your mom was knitting something and remain some thread some yarn after that you can just try and do this kind of bracelet i'm going to show you in the next uh, video in in the next couple of minutes how i actually done this kind of bracelets so you can see this these are three examples this is fine one with a rare like a slightly more rare threads at the end this is like um, fluffier and longer this one is also fluffy but shorter ends and um, I'll show you everything that I know about this and how we can do it I'm going to teach you my technique and um, we can do it together also you can use the shuttle if you have any shuttle you could um, use a shuttle to do a bracelet like this if you like but for shuttle obviously you need more uh, yarn to to ravel around it so but this is this doesn't require a lot of yarn it it's enough to make for example uh, a bracelet from this kind of yarn as you can see it's very low quality thread and it's about 10 centimeters and you can do two rows with it and as you can see it's wavy it's not straight it's poor quality but you can still do a bracelet like as beautiful as this from this kind of threads or yarn so it doesn't really matter how much experience you have in, in friendship making bracelets but 
you can still do something as beautiful as this so have a have a look and watch my videos and see you next so let us begin to do a bracelet like this i've shown you the examples that i've made it's eco-friendly bracelet made from the threads and yarns that you've got left after our works that you might have had from knitting and crocheting so this is how i done them how i made them so i took simple threads simple yarn and it's made of two threads as you can see but what i've done i've made a knot so two threads but i would consider as one thread when i work with it i've done a knot here at the end to make sure it's considered as one thread so i've done about let's see so it's so it's one two three four five six seven threads and they don't have to be long they're about half a cent half a meter as you can see half a meter and let's begin so this is a kind of thread the remainings of the things that I've knitted, my mom knitted, and all of it has about 10 centimeters of each thread, each yarn. And it's all acrylic, so it doesn't matter at this project what kind of thread you use. So it's all good. So let's begin. So I take a thread like this, a yarn like this, about 10 centimeters each. And we hold about two. So we do like this. I hope you know how to do the knots. You do the knots like this. You tighten just a little bit before you get to the top. So when you get to the top, you tighten it. So I've done it as you can see it's here one knot so let's do second knot let's let me separate now i separated the other threads with my fingers so i do another knot another knot another knot another knot so here it is first round so you don't have to even make first loop or triangular beginning it's straightforward just one row just like that it doesn't matter if it's longer this side you can always cut it at the end so we've done the first round let's, let's pick up a different different yarn so it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what color you take what quality of yarn it is you you can do this bracelet so i don't tighten i tighten only at the end when i know it's where it's supposed to be at the top the the actual knot so i separate it between my fingers so i do the knot 
to make sure the line is straight you can also use a, an old comb that you have so it can um, can be straightened with an older comb that you don't need for brushing your hair so this is a second layer I just straighten it like so we've done two rows as you can see two rows and the variety of colors I choose a totally different one that I have from this lot this lot of ends of yarn so we do the knot as usual so we don't tighten until we go up okay we do it straight let me separate it between my fingers the strings strings blue would look very nice and contrasting to this lot of threads so that's why I've chosen the blue to add some contrast to it The thread, the blue thread is a bit thicker, so I need to push it slightly. So let me do it like this just a second. So I have made a little mistake here with my my finger like that and let me unravel this one quickly because it went where it shouldn't go okay so so let's do the other two It's a bit messy this one because it is a thicker yarn, thicker thread, as you can see. I'm pushing it with my fingers slightly so it's straight roll, but it doesn't matter because it's the beginning of the bracelet, so it's not visible. Okay, let's do the orange little orange um, yarn piece of yarn so. So. what i like about this particular bracelet you don't have to count anything you don't have to follow a pattern it doesn't take too long time to make one like this so it's it's great if you can do a bracelet like this in your collection of bracelets because it's just handy and easy to do and it's beautiful it looks very good especially if you're wearing jeans or any kind of outfit because if you do multiple colors in this bracelet you can you end up doing a lot of uh, colors 
and this way it um, is very colorful and it can suit any clothing in your collection of clothes at home so that's how you do it I took a different yarn this one is thinner but as I said it doesn't matter because the the more rough the bracelet looks like the more unique and the, the better it is because it's supposed to be like a little carpet that you make for yourself so now I'm going to choose a different different thread different yarn call it the way you want it and I'm going to use a bit of darker colors now because it seems like all the colors are a little bit too too light in color so yeah this way mm -hmm. As you can see, this thread is a little bit long, so I'm going to cut it somewhere here so I can use it one more time. Let me take a red yarn. I'll just push this one slightly. So it adds up, as you can see, it becomes pretty and prettier. So, let's try a lighter color. Nice. Um, let's try the brighter one. This one, which we've used earlier.
just do it like this. So I have knitted a lot. I have knotted a lot here, as you can see. We have all this lot unneeded, unwanted yarn like this. The kind of frayed yarn that you definitely no longer need and you can throw them away easily. You can just do a bracelet like this and it's eco-friendly after all. So yeah, I'm really pleased I've done another uh, bracelet which is um, eco-friendly bracelet. Let me check if it's the same length that I need for my wrist. Yeah, it seems to be the same. You see, it's here, it's the same. Now what we need to do is to cut, because it looks messy. So we can cut as short as this one, as you can see here. Yeah? And we can cu cut as long as this one. So... Let's see, so what what I actually do is put my fingers like this, so it's all about one size, and then I cut it, and you do it with a whole yarn. So, you can see, this is cut nicely. Let's cut this side, maybe. I need really a bigger, bigger scissors. So, you, as you can see, it's already tight, tight here. Then, um, then here, for example. So, what we do, we hold it like this again with a finger to make sure it's the same length. And then we cut slowly and carefully. What I usually do that after I cut the whole lot, I just use different scissors and I just tidy up the edge with something that cuts better and longer. So it's more comfortable to cut. Now we need to to do the this bit here to plot the enclosure. So I pick up three here, two here. We do it like this, like you plot hair. And you do it tightly, tightly. Just like this. And we measure the length with the previous example. As you can see, it's just the beginning. I need to make it this long.
so I have finished this bracelet I have used bigger scissors like this I have done the cord with plaiting like you plait your hair and have done a little knot at the end as well as cut the edges so it's nicely done so here we need to do some sort of loop there are many techniques and ways to do it uh, there is a technique you could do with a needle a loop with a needle which i can show you one once and in the future and there is a way to do a loop also with a hook so i'm going to show you that in my next videos for now here's the bracelet that we've done together i finished it all myself as you can see it's it's like this these are other examples that i have done for the video so you can see it so this is a thinner example of it so really you can do out of nothing something as beautiful as this so thank you very much for watching and please subscribe and if you have any questions and comments please uh, leave a message leave a comment please put the likes and thank you for watching my videos and uh, subscribing me subscribing to my channel uh, thank you very much for sharing this technique of eco-friendly bracelet just for you all to see and to make one like this and many more in the future so it's easy quick and you can do it out of nothing and costs nothing too to make one so i hope you liked it this is how it looks this is how it looks it looks cool it looks young it looks good with any clothing because here we have so many colors and tones so you can wear it with any makeup any clothing you have any shoes and please enjoy doing bracelets with me and next time i'm going to show you other projects of mine and share you my knowledge and secrets and experience and everything that we need to know about bracelets and friendship bracelets so thank you very much for watching love you lots and please subscribe thank you bye bye fans bye bye fans <laughs>